Hello, everyone. Welcome to News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. I'm your host, Roger Colton. Waverly Insurance is a family-owned business started in 1946. The owners of Waverly Insurance are now donating some e computer equipment to students in the Belmont Public Schools. I have with me today, Jim and Paul King, the owners of Waverly Insurance. Jim, Paul, thanks for joining us. Let's talk about this donation of computer equipment. Uh, what are you offering to Belmont students? Well, first of all, Roger, thank you so much for having us. Really appreciate the opportunity to speak with you and uh, through you, the rest of the community. Um, we are in the process of going through an upgrade to our computer systems and ended up with a number of monitors and we're debating what to do with it. And we thought that the best thing that we could possibly do for the community, particularly given the struggles everyone is having with the pandemic is to donate them to the local community with all the people that are now working from home and all of the kids that are home trying to do their online work for the schools. We couldn't think of a better way, better use for the uh, monitors. And I, I don't want to overstate the availability of, of equipment and create a, uh, uh, an expectation that uh, uh, can't be fulfilled. How many monitors do you have? Well, right now we have four. We're expecting to have four more within the next week. So it should be a total of about eight. How, how would people access those if, uh, if they wanted one? Their best uh, way to get in contact with us is to give us a call. The number is 617-484-5216 and ask for my brother, Paul. Is, uh, is there interest in, in these monitors? Are you generating an interest? We've already given away probably close to 10 monitors. So there's been great interest and we're just delighted to be able to support the community in that way. Why, why are you doing this? Uh, how, how did you happen to say this is the, the appropriate thing to do? Well, we've always viewed ourselves as a community-based business. Um, we've actually been in business, as you mentioned, since 1946. Uh, the company was founded by my father down in Waverly Square. As a matter of fact, it started in a 400-square-foot uh, office in Waverly Square, just around the corner from the post office. And in 1963, moved to a location across the street from the post office. We were there until 2019 when we've moved into our temporary headquarters. Uh, we'll be back hopefully in Waverly Square by the end of this year. So we've always been a community-based business. We have sponsored softball teams in Belmont. As a matter of fact, I think if my memory is correct, we were the longest sponsor for one of the, sports, uh, the softball teams in the uh, Division A uh, class. So we've always pictured ourselves as a community business. Paul, uh, the Belmont Journal has talked to any number of retail businesses uh, about the impact of COVID-19 on their business. Uh, uh, does COVID-19 affect your business in, in Belmont? It has it to some degree. Um, with the people working from home, it's a little more difficult. Um, I'm here answering the phone every day. Um, so when people call up, I can, they can at least get a human voice instead of being on hold. And then I transfer the calls to people that are working at home. And so we try to adjust as, as much as you could, as much as we can. But people do get frustrated, um, as you know, trying to get a hold of a human being. So that's why I'm here in the office every day, trying to answer the phone and help people out. And let's not assume that, uh, that people know what Waverly Insurance uh, uh, provides. Can you give us the backstory on uh, what Waverly Insurance does? Well, we'll provide all types of insurance for you that you need. Um, we have uh, multiple carriers that we can, we can go to. So we have a lot of options to do, depending on whether it be a house or a car or a boat or whatever you need. Um, so we have a lot of different options we can do. And like like my brother said, we've been in business for so long, we have a good history with all the carriers, so we can help people out. Waverly Insurance has uh, been around for 55 or 60 years, since 1946. Uh, can, can, can you tell us what, uh, what changes you've seen in Waverly Square or along Trapella Road? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, th there's obviously been a lot of changes um, traffic-wise. There's been that, and, and the foot traffic has been a lot heavier. 
Um, so that location was really great being right where my brother said we were. And, uh, it's, um, and the changes have been now, obviously, being up here, there's just not as much foot traffic as here. And you can't get into the office like you could when we were down there. So uh, things have changed. Uh, one of the changes in Waverly Square is, uh, is happening right now. Uh, Joe DiStefano and, and his brother are building a new residential building Uh, And that affects your business, right? Well, that's correct. We're going to be on the bottom floor of that business, hopefully. Um, So we're going to be in the same location we were um, for years and years and years. So there'll be residential upstairs, but there'll be commercial downstairs. And we're we're planning on being in the bottom floor commercial. So we'll basically be right back to where we were before. So um, that's what we're looking forward to. Jim, uh, the offer of... uh, Computer monitors seems to be the classic uh, illustration of how small businesses interact with uh, the community which they serve. Can can you tell us about the the role of a small business in a community? I think small businesses are vital to uh, to any community. If you drive through any uh, any town or city. It is mostly populated by small businesses. That's what is the lifeblood uh, of, of any community. And then the engagement with individual people within the community is all part of that. Um, one of the anecdotes I'll share with you about uh, maybe a, a slightly different view of our engagement in the community is this recent holiday season, we get a holiday card from a client with a picture of their family. How many times does that actually happen in a large corporation? It just really doesn't. So, so that, that connection with the people on an individual level is what small businesses bring to the community. Uh, just to let everybody know, we do have some calendars um, that we're giving away, um, 2021 calendars with some beautiful pictures on them. Um, just give us a call at 617-484-5216, and it's, uh, you can pick them up right at the door. I want to uh, look f- uh, from the past to the future because there are big changes uh, going on in Waverly Square right now, uh, it would seem. Uh, can you talk to us for a minute about what role Waverly Square plays uh, uh, in the Belmont community and what you see the future of Waverly Square being? Well, certainly happy to do that. I think uh, Waverly Square is at a point of rebirth. Um, I, I think it is uh, poised to be perhaps the most vibrant part of Belmont. Uh, you take a look at it, it's got all the infrastructure that's an important part of that. It's the termination of a bus line. You have a commuter rail stop there. Um, you have a, a large presence with Star Market there. Um, and, and it's a major crossroads between Belmont and Waltham. And with the work that the Stefano brothers are doing there with the new buildings that they're putting in, um, I just see nothing but growth opportunity there, which is why we're anxious to get back down there. Well, thanks for joining us uh, uh, today and telling us about uh, Waverly Insurance, about your donations to the Belmont Public Schools. Roger, thank you so much. Appreciate you having us and uh, wish the best for you and everybody else in 2021. We've been speaking with Jim and Paul King, the owners of Waverly Insurance. You've been watching News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I'll talk with you again next time.